Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Nurcio and Scarlet on Frozen Temple. In the top left side of the map, we have the red Zerg player. It is Nurcio. And in the bottom right side of the map, we have the blue Zerg player. It is Scarlet. So our weekly ZVZ for you guys who play Zerg on the ladder and run across Zergs all the time because I know that you do. This is from the WCS 2000 in Spring. I still have a few of those replays kicking around, so I figured I would cast an excellent ZVZ for you guys, for those of you who are interested in this matchup. All right, so ZVZ usually starts out with speedlings and roaches and banelings, but then pretty often transmits, or transmits, uh, transfers. Holy smokes, my brain is messed up today. It is, then it moves on. Hmm, moves on into things like mutas, which is fun, infestors, possibly, vipers, too. We've seen ultras in this matchup, a lot of ravager play, too, to see exactly what these players are in, too. A good look, have fun there from Nurcio, and a good luck out of Scarlet. Scarlet does not want her opponent to have fun. Can't necessarily blame her for that. That's not something that I type either when I play. I do good luck, good luck, and that is it. Muhaha, I will give you good luck, but I don't want you to have any fun in this game, because that means you're winning, and I'm not. So both players are going for spawning pools pretty early here, getting extractors as well. Extractor pops for Nurcio a little bit later than Scarlet's does. Should have speed available or banelings available or whatever you want. And yes, there are hatcheries coming out for both players as well. So no major surprises to this point. No one's going a crazy proxy hatch, which in ZBZ, I'm not even sure how that would work. I don't think that's even a possibility. Your opponent would just send speedlings to your base and you'd wall off and then you would win the game. It just, uh, it's, I don't think I've ever seen it, nor will I ever. Works against Terran pretty well. Uh, against Protoss can be pretty fun too, but ZVZ doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Again, pops in the background are not guns, they are fireworks. Please do not call 911 and tell them to go save Falcon Paladin from the gunfire because that's not what it is. Few links heading out, they do get scouted by the Overlord. I love the placement. It's something you do very well uh, in ZVZ is place your Overlords in positions where you can see what's coming out of your opponent's base. It's just, it's brilliant. There's really nothing that can shoot up for quite a while. Hydras don't pop out, queens don't want to go that far, etc, etc. Fourlings versus two will win every time, but move a queen in there. Uh-uh, no way, Jose. Sorry, not going to happen, Nurcio. Just scouting in, trying to see what's going on, but didn't really see much of anything except for some creep spread. Sees it now, sees the base anyway. And yeah, there's really no, no reason to go in there with even ling count and queen count. It's, uh, it's not going to happen. Both players are getting speed. Scarlet's a little bit faster, and, but a bailing nest coming up for Nurcio before... Uh, no sign of a Baneling Nest here. Getting plus one attack instead. So using that gas on something else. I like plus one attack with Lings. They attack so quickly that it really adds up over time. That extra damage that they do with their little claws. So let's see if that helps out Scarlet here at all. Or if maybe Banelings just wreck face. Because uh, plus one attack does not care about Baneling hits whatsoever. Plus one armor does. If you get plus one armor for your Lings. They can survive one Baneling hit with like a point of health left. So... Keep that in mind. You get plus one armor for your lings. Baneling hits do not immediately destroy them. They're not super useful at that point because they only have one hit point, but it's better than being dead, is what I always say. Regardless, Baneling Nest now complete, and Nurtia does not seem to be making any right now. And throwing down a Baneling Nest of her own is Scarlet. Some the ling skirmishes have been, I mean, skirmishy. Nobody's really died to this point, and just as I say that, a couple lings do die. Both players have speed lings right now, trying to angle it off, and no. Nope, can't do it. Nurcio going to be chased all the live long day home. Get some Banelings out for base defense, possibly, or just defend with Lings. Seems like that is a possibility as well. Yep, Nurcio has the better numbers. He's going to chase <laughs> Scarlet all the way back home where there are a couple Lings to help out with this. Queens are very useful, actually, in this situation where you're dealing with Lings all up in your business. Both players not really committing to Lings at this point. They do have, you know, 28, 29 Harvesters as well. Banelings are getting morphed in. Scarlet sees them, tries to win this battle. With her lings, can she do it? Are the banelings gonna pop? And they do! Scarlet gets the heck on out of there. A few queens blocking the way, a few defensive banelings of her own coming up. That is so useful to have a few defensive banelings ready in case something like this happens. Third down in spine crawler, just in case, and a third base on the way from Nurcio. Not allowing Scarlet to get a third. And Queens picking off banelings at the front line, gets two of them. Forces cancels on two of them. One does survive, bringing up that Baneling count to four for Nurcio. Checking to make sure a third base did not come down without him noticing. And no, there was not. It's just Scarlet cannot afford to be stuck on two bases for this long. I mean, get a ninja expand out or something. Try to kill the Banelings with the Lings you have. No, great micro there. Great micro there, actually. Ugh. Does get one, though. <laughs> 
Transfusing a Baneling. Don't see that every day. Maybe a free Overlord would be nice. Would not actually supply block Nurtio, but it is very annoying nonetheless. Lings do get a run by here. Try to kill this hatch, but no, the responding Lings by Nurtio are far, far too quick. Spire on the way for Nurtio. Ling versus Ling action. I know everybody's favorite exciting thing to see here. And you know what? Actually, Scarlet won that until the Baneling showed up. And then it was goodbye. It was goodbye, all y'all lings. Nurtio tries to repay the favor by killing an overlord of Scarlet, but decides to go back and inject instead. Another Ling run by from Scarlet, focusing down drones, and actually Baneling's crashing on top of them. This Baneling trying desperately to get in there and kill some of these. No, they get the queen first. And does the Baneling explode? It does. That's a win for Scarlet right there. Another attack over here, trying to get these Banelings before they finish. Canceling them would be nice. But no, another Baneling shows up for Nurtio. They're forced to retreat instead, and those Banelings do get to fully morph and come into reality. I don't know. Is Nurtio planning on sticking to this strat for a while now? It seems very possible. I don't know. Anyway, plus one attack is, or plus one attack is now coming up for Nurtio's Lings as well. Another Overlord dies. Nurtio can't afford to lose it. 57 out of 50, 74 total supply. Again, the Lings really want to kill this hatch. Nurtio defending admirably, however. Not going to allow that one to happen. And Scarlet's plus one has finished, which makes it very, very handy in fights like that one, unless you're outnumbered by, like, three to one, which isn't super great. Yeah, there's that plus one attack. Has been completed. Doing six damage per hit. Weapon speed of 0.5, which is fantastical. And a lair on the way. Muta's coming up for Scarlet, though. Very early Muta's on the way. Does Nurtio know this? I mean, it's two base. So basically, two base Muta is one of the things you can do as Zerg without getting a third. And Nurtio knows, right? Nurtio knows there's not a third base anywhere. He's done some scouting, at least fairly recently, to recognize that's what's going on. Spine does stab down some of them. Their lings creep spread moving across the way here to Muta's. Flying on out, trying to catch some of the overlords. Nurtio did not get pneumatized carapace, and as a result, maybe some of these overlords are going to die. That's a single queen here to defend. And it's just uh, three, four, five mutas. It's just instant overlord death, or more instant. More Ling shenanigans over that way. I don't care about that one. Another overlord gonna die, and it does. No transfuse available, but the mutas decide not to tempt fate. Back out of there when the queen comes your way. They do very well uh, against the air. Where is it? Acid spines, nine damage per hit. Ooh, per shot, 0.7 weapon speed. That is just excellent. Excellent. Oh, the Mutas are sniping down Banelings and Lings, and that is not a good look for Nurtio. He has no anti-air to speak of except for a couple Queens. He's getting plus one ground carapace. Another Overlord is going to die. This one might actually supply block Nurtio. No, he just popped a ton of Overlords in preparation for the fact that, yes, these Overlords were going to die because Mutas are out. The Queens trying to go ahead and get an angle at which they can kill the Overlord, but no, the Overlord is too smart to go into the danger and set heads on out here. Where is this Queen going? Come back and help. This Overlord may very well get away. Muta's trying to kill Queen. Not greatest. There's a Spore Crawler there, too, doing extra damage versus Biological. 30 damage instead of 15, making them pretty much anti-Muta things in ZBZ. A couple more Extractors on the way. Worker count 60 to 46. Nurtio is up in that one as well. I feel like Nurtio's done pretty darn well. Has that third base up and going. Has a better Worker count at the same time. Some Lings run right by the problem. I guess they're running away from the main Lings, and that was a very smart thing to do. Four queens now, five queens here as well. How many does Nurtio have? Six total, so not a crazy number, but man, queens against Muta is pretty good stuff. Oh no, Overlord. Get it? No, they killed the Baneling instead. That was their priority. Actually losing a Muta to kill that Baneling. I'm not sure if that was a fair trade, but you know, the fewer the Banelings your opponent has, the better it is for you, I will always say. Resources lost, 4,300 for Nurtio, 2,500 for Scarlet. So Scarlet hasn't lost that much, it's just... She hasn't been able to keep up in worker income, or worker count, super well. Unfortunately, Muta's really want to kill this extractor. Can they get it done? A couple drones, too. Yes, they do. And another one there that was trying to make itself into a spore crawler. We're planting the extractor immediately. Queens are good. And they're fast on creep, but they're not that fast. A little Ling Excursion tries to do something for Nurtio. Not going to happen. Bane Lings are here. Uh, on their own, not that great. Just because you can kind of send a single Ling into them and render them useless, but... That's all right. Nothing to worry about there. The Queen's focusing them down. Can they get the ba Oh, they get both of the Banelings. That's not good. That is not good for our Red Zerg player at all. But going Hive is Nurtio. Taking up pretty well. Muta's still trying to kill stuff. Transfuse, keeping them Queens alive. And an Infestor here. Oh, a couple Infestors with enough for Fungal Growth. They do. They have enough for a Fungal. If they can catch these Lings or catch a bunch of Mutas, that would be excellent for them. I mean, fungal growth isn't an instant death sentence like it used to be in ZBZ when fungal was longer, but it's still pretty bad. Getting chain fungled or getting fungled and then having queens burn you out of the sky is not a good feeling. Overseer on the way here for Scarlet. 
And a fourth base coming up for Nurcio. Fourth base over here too. So Scarlet is actually keeping up in that uh, and taking the lead in the worker count, mind you. Those Mutos really kept Nurcio on the back foot. Did not let him mount any pressure whatsoever. Can Scarlet get this base too? No. Really worried about fungal growth and can't necessarily blame her. Ling's coming on in a big Ling counterattack, ready to do this thing. Catching a drone, transferring at the wrong time, getting way inside this main base. Oh no. Oh no, Queen. Queen is going to die. These Ling's dealing with other Ling's. More Ling's on in here. Spine Crawler useful, but no static defense down here at all. Can't decide what they want to kill. As a result, they kill a few drones. Uh, actually, 16 drones in that attack. Holy cow, that's a lot of workers. Yeah, 59 to 49. Nurcio now has a 10 drone count lead. Another sneaky Ling run by down this bottom side of the map. Going to try to kill here, but whether by accident or intel, Scarlet sees it coming. Nope, doesn't see it coming. Let those Lings get right on by. I think there's some aggression on herself. Nope, not going to happen. Spine Crawler and a few Queens here. Enough to chase those guys away. Nice transfusing. Catching them. Oh, as they try to come by, that is a dead, a lot of dead Lings right there. Trying to sneak on into the main base once again for counterattack number three or so. Plus one, plus one has finished on these guys, killing a whole ton of drones, as is their want. Again, more Ling counterattacks from Nurcio. But Ultras are on the way for Nurcio. We will be spared of this Ling, Bling, Muta stuff very soon as Nurcio has Ultras coming out. Nothing that Scarlet has is very good against Ultras unless you count Mutas because Ultras can't attack up. But it still takes them a while to kill them, their ultras. Can he get it? Oh, there's the fungal catching one muta. The transfuse is keeping the hatchery alive. Another attack of links down here. Bane links crashing into everything. This base is going to be lost. Attack was cleaned up at the natural base there. But is there enough DPS on these links to take down this hatch all by their lonesome? No. No, there is not. Especially if reinforcements come this way. The ultras are trundling through. What do you have to deal with ultras? Scarlet has her own ultra cavern coming up, but... I just don't know if it's going to be on time. So the Mutas are trying to kill these Ultras, as you can see. But they have three armor already. And getting right into this mineral line. Just laying waste to that Queen immediately. Drones, too. One Ultra does die to the Mutas, which is pretty good. This Ultra does not care about the Spine Crawler. Does not care about Lings whatsoever. Infested Terrans being topped down, too. Trying to assist with this thing. And, yeah, actually not doing too bad for themselves. I mean, they're at least delaying, <laughs> delaying the Ultra's attack on the mineral line. So hey, that works out. Another attack of Lings and Infested Terrans here for Nurcio. Cleaning up a lot of stuff. Trying to kill Mutas, which they don't get upgrades, but still pretty good. Their hatch does end up falling. 15 drones killed by Nurcio. It is now currently 63 to 46 workers. Scarlet has lost her fourth base. Not good. Meanwhile, Nurcio kept his fourth, and that's going to be really all that matters here in the few minutes that are remaining in this game. Plus two missile att or melee attacks completed. For Nurcio and plus three coming up for Scarlet, also getting Chitinous Plating and plus three Flyer. How many Mutos are left? There are still a bunch of Mutos, 11, which is a good number, I would say. Resources lost 10,000 for Nurcio, 8,000 for Scarlet. Another Ling run by here. Is that a Fungal? Yeah, Fungal on the enemy Zerg players. Huh. All right, nicely done there by Scarlet, keeping those Lings away. An Ultra, was that an Ultra drop or something? 13 more drone kills. More drone kills. 62 to 43 workers. Nurcio has a 20. Worker, lead, spine crawler, trying desperately to reach way across there and kill these lings, but some defenses lings do show up to deal with it. Queen's killing overlords, trying to spread this creep. He really wants to bring the queens for anti-air, I think is what this is. He wants to bring the queens on out because he can't deal with the mutas without them. It's just they're really far away. Fortunately, creep is right here. It was spread fairly well. Nice fungal on all of those units. Some counter fungal, though. A lot of very weak Lings here for Nurcio. They really don't want to engage. The Queen's marching inexorably forward. A Ling's trying to get through here. There's a single defensive Ultra, though. Making sure that doesn't happen. Another Ultra dies. Nurcio is here with his Queens, with his Infestors. It's 157 to 105 total supply. How is it going here? Army supply 91 to 64. Has set up shop. Ultra is on top of the Infestors. They're not going to win that fight whatsoever. Infested Terrans notwithstanding. Yes, Lings are killing stuff, but that's it. A GG from Scarlet. Scarlet is defeated, and Nurcio is victorious, taking this game for the Swarm. Or I guess I should say for the Red Swarm, <laughs> as it would stand. So well done by Nurcio. Just did a good job getting this Expands out earlier, getting his Ultras out earlier. Not going for Muta, just getting Queen for defense, some Spore Crawlers, some Infestors. I loved his plan. He executed it very well. Continuous. Ling counterattacks. He killed 68 workers. 68 in that game. Only lost 16 of his own, and that is really enough to win you games more often than not in ZVZ. So well done to Nurcio. Well done to Scarlet. But today 
Euronix Gaming takes the win. And that's it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.